Okay, so here's the deal. A lot of Footy Talkback fans have been asking, when are you coming back to Channel 31? Are you coming back? We miss you. You know what? I miss you guys too. But there's a few problems. Firstly, we don't have any more sponsorship. Secondly, there's a big issue with filming down at the ground. MCG and Andy had, you need permits. It's very expensive. And the staff have asked us to move on on a few occasions. So what I've done is I've used my ingenuity as an umpire and being intelligent, as we all know, I've armed myself with a selfie stick. I'm going to use my iPhone to film. I've got a lapel microphone, which I bought just down at Ted's Cameras. I'm going to head down to the MCG. There's a game on. Essendon versus Hawthorne. I'm going to go down and interview some fans. Let me know what you think. Let's see what I can get away with and see if anyone hassles me. I'm going to go a little bit incognito. See how we go. My whistle's backwards. <whistles> Keep talking, boys and girls. Well, here we are at the MCG for the Bombers Hawthorne Clash Round 2. Footy talk back. Umpire Pete's back. Let's go and see what the fans think. I'm trying to interview and get in. in yep. See, I'm trying to get you in yep. and interview and do the microphone. So it's a multi-skilled job here. Well, I know what you're saying. Multi-skilled, yes. Not everyone can do it. No, no. Stay for it. Yeah. You reckon you can do it? No. I don't have the face for it. Yeah, I reckon you're a pretty good looking bloke. Well, I don't doubt that, but, you know. Yeah. Don't have face Just because I'm an umpire doesn't mean I'm a bit, you know. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> you call it as you see it. <laughs> exactly, mate, exactly. So I've got a question for you that's on everyone's everyone's lips, I suppose. You must be incredibly relieved that the uh, Essendon players got cleared. Do you think it's over? No. It hasn't even begun. It's going to keep on going, which we all know. Another two, three years. So what do you think's going to happen? I think it's going to get washed out. It's going to keep on going. It's going to be no, no resolve. So that's going to be a waste of time? Pretty much. It already has been. I reckon they should give up now. Okay, well, why yeah. not? <laughs> <laughs> so were well, you pretty relieved, though, when um, when they handed out the verdict of not, not guilty? That, you know, I was over least... it. I was over it by the time that came out. I was over it about a year ago. Had enough already? Yeah. Too oh, long. Yeah. I think we're, we, we all could say that. We're going to get a win today? Oh, we'll give them a good crack. Don't know about a win. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thanks, mate. Oh, that's it. No worries, mate. Have a good one. What about you? What about you? Sitting there is like daydreaming. What, well, you've been smoking pot or something? Probably, yeah. Yeah? Uh uh. What do you yeah. think of illicit drugs in support? Oh. No. It's been a long uh, couple of years. How did you feel when they handed down the not guilty verdict for the Essendon players? Oh, excellent, mate. Uh, like a million dollars won for the club, so really good. Uh, just hope that uh, we can produce some results uh, today against the Hawks, who are our bitter rivals, so just hoping, mate, that uh, we can get four points today. I think maybe we can, you know. I hope so. I think we might be pushing something uphill a little bit, but you never know. Yes, that's yeah. true. This is true. So tell me, what would you have done if the Essendon players hadn't have got cleared? I uh, still would have been at the game supporting them, as um, good as always. Try my best to always support the boys and get them across the line. True uh, supporter. That's it, mate. Always. <laughs> so tell me, as a uh, die-hard Bombers fan, how did you feel... When the verdict was handed down of not guilty for the players, oh, probably more relieved than anything. Just um, yeah, hopefully it's all finished up and it's we can just play watch footy now. And, you know, it's uh, it's been a long two years and just want Essendon to go on and be able, just be able to go to footy and watch footy and not have to worry about it. It's just good. Probably more of a relief for the players, but it's a relief for the fans as well. Getting camera shy. Yeah. See how easy it is. See how easy it is? Easy. So one of the obvious question is how do you feel when they handed down the not guilty verdict for the Essendon players? Oh, it was definitely a pleasing result. What about you, mate? How do you feel? Pretty pumped. Yeah, pretty pumped. Pumped as those chips? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what about mum? What about mum? I think mum's got something to say. Oh, no, I was, yeah, I'm fairly relieved, but um, yeah, probably should have been dealt with a lot, a lot longer ago than what it was already, so... It's a bit annoying, actually. Yeah, you feel sorry for the players? Yeah, I feel sorry for any club that had to go through that. Yeah, yep. definitely. And what yeah. about the um, three strikes you're out rule? Do you reckon they need to change that, or this is to, regarding illicit drugs? Uh, regarding illicit drugs. Yeah. But yeah, this this isn't an illicit drug. So yeah, no, it's not. I don't want to get into it, because I get real <laughs> fired up about it. Well, that's what I want. Yeah, I can't. I haven't got time. Thank you. No more. <laughs> wow, what a day. Oh. I believe the bombers won. Ah. Mm. 
Oh, hello. Just having a cup of tea. I'm exhausted. Oh, well, I think that was a success. No one hassled me. Uh, I think I interviewed a few fans. Look, I'm sorry if I only interviewed Essendon fans, but, well, that's all I had time for. So, if you like it, if you enjoy it, um, hey, let me know, give me some feedback. We'll be giving away some prizes this year. We'll be giving away maybe some free pizzas after the game. We're going to be having some questions, you know, bring back a bit of fun, a bit of conversation, footy talk back, see what happens. I'm umpire Pete, and keep talking. Oh, that's a 